I guess I'll start with you. Um, you guys were down, and it looked like they just decided, your teammates decided, John, if you can carry us home, carry us home. What does that feel like to the last 13 points? Um, it's just good to have you know a coach and teammates that believe in me to be able to take and make those tough shots late in the game. But yeah, um, I was feeling it tonight, and they just did a good job of finding me. Brad, we've been talking all season about how offensively you guys are great from the free throw line. How important was that tonight? Yeah, we needed all of them, you know, in a game like that, in a hostile environment against a really good team. Um, you got to take advantage of every opportunity you get. You know, that was a goal we wanted to try to get there and to convert at a high rate. Um, you know, we'll take all those points. Right. Obviously, we've talked to you about your three-point shooting in the last four games, the fact that most of them have not gone in. Did you, you said you never need to see the ball go in, but when that second one went in, did that help at all? I mean, it always helps to see the ball go in, but personally, my confidence comes from my routine and from my preparation and the amount of time that I've put into the game. Um, so, you know, I've made a lot of shots in my career, so I choose to think about those ones even when it's not going in. Historically, you've got a, a resume of going through streaks. Sometimes it's a cold streak, sometimes it's a hot streak. Knowing that, do you also, does that give you confidence? Like, eventually they're going to fall. I'm going to get back on a hot streak. Absolutely. You know, I don't think it's a hot streak, <coughs> cold streak, but again, my confidence comes from the time that I put in and the routine I have. and. I see a lot of shots go in when it's not game time. So whether it's early morning or late night. Um, so I have teammates that believe in me and coach that believes in me to take those shots. And I'm going to continue to shoot them. Johnny, Trish Jackson Davis only had nine points when you guys played with him at home. And he had 30 tonight. What was different about his shooting and just his presence in general tonight? Um, I feel like he came out with a little more of an edge just because of you know the way we beat them at home. Um, he's a great player. He's tough to stop down there when he gets the ball in the low post. but. You know, you don't really have too much help around him. So, I mean, when you got a player like that, it's, it's good, to, good to have. But, yeah, he's, he's, a, he's a load down there. Brad, was it mentally draining at all during this game? They take a lead, you crawl back. They go back out like a six, seven point lead, and you guys would have to do the fighting back up. I'm just curious if mentally that wears on you. And if it does, how do you explain coming back? No, we love that. You know, we love being in these environments. We love. Um, you know the runs of games. We always talk about you know a team might throw a punch, but it's our it's our um, it's always our duty and our opportunity to throw one back. So if they're gonna make some shots or maybe get out in transition and see some shots go down, you know now it's our opportunity to stop that run and throw one ourselves. So that's something we talk about a lot on the floor. It's something that coach talks about a lot, and then just player to player we talk about, about talk a lot about is sticking together no matter what's going on and continue to throw our punch. Johnny, it felt like you guys were struggling with turnovers a little bit, especially in the first half. Was their defense just really present or was there something else going on there? No, I think that was just all on us, uh, you know, making uncharacteristic mistakes. But, um, you know, I mean, late in the game, we, we knocked down free throws, um, you know, needed, got baskets when we needed to, but nah, I mean, the turnovers, they're, they're a factor in the game, but it just matters about how you perform in the end. Brad, this might be a dumb question, but you were here two years ago, the last time you guys were here. Any memories coming here? I know it's a completely different team, but any memories from that trip, and did that help at all? Uh, those memories are memories I'll have for the rest of my life. Um, you know, winning in the fashion we did, <coughs> celebrating in their locker room, getting to get the trophy and celebrate with our family and friends here. Um, you know, I'll always have a special place in my heart for Assembly yeah. Hall because of those memories. I personally love it here. I love playing here. Um, I'm glad we made our good memory tonight. I asked in part because that was a similar game. They had like about a seven, eight point lead in the second half, and you guys were able to battle back and win. Tonight it was five. Does that kind of feel so? Yeah, just again, you know, the theme of this year is we always want to stick together no matter what, what the other team does. And that was the same theme, things we talked about with that team too. No matter what the score is, you always play and hit the zeros, and you want to throw the last punch to score more points than them. Brad, this isn't the last, first time and probably won't be the last time we've seen Johnny kind of close out a game in a, in a clutch fashion. Is that just something he does? What, from your perspective, seeing that, what is it like? I'm always a really good basketball player. So when the game's online, you know, we want the ball in his hands. We want him making those decisions and being confident and getting downhill because he's a load to stop. Um, and when we can surround him with shooters and guys that are making plays, it makes him that much harder to guard. So we just all try to do our part. Um, defensively, try to limit the amount of points they can get because we, we know that he's, he's very capable of whether it's getting a bucket or creating it for someone else. So um, as a teammate, I love it. I love playing with him and all the guys in the team do as well um, just because we all value winning. That's what we want to do. So no coaching involved there? Huh? No coaching involved in that? No. <laughs> just kidding. It, it, yeah, it is. 
Brad, I gotta ask, how was it having Tyra here with her decked out in Badger's gear for probably the first time in this arena? It was awesome. I'm sure she probably had fun interacting with the fans and having her family here. And um, you know, she's competitive. She loves it. She's a big Badger basketball fan all the time, and the Hoosier fan unless they're playing us. So um, it was probably a little weird wearing Wisconsin gear around campus, but you know, I know where her heart is at during the game and where her family's at. So it was cool to see her during the game, before the game. I'm excited to go see her now after the game. Diane, I know you guys don't say just take it one game at a time. And after the Rutgers loss, you said that one's going in the trash. You can't do anything about it. How important was it to have that mindset to come in here and win, especially in terms of your position in the race? Yeah, uh, that's exactly it. It's just it's a tight race right now, but um, you know we're not really worried about that. We're just worried about getting better um, and winning games, and you know trying to be able to make a run in the postseason. <clears throat> Anything else for the student athletes? All right, thanks, guys. Cool. Appreciate you guys. Safe travels.